This is the Meal Combat Individual, the last generation of the sea ration. Now first produced in 1959, and production ceased in 1980. Procurements for the MCI were fully exhausted by 1983. Sing weighs one pound, nine ounces, and contains approximately 1,200 calories. This is a menu we haven't checked out yet, fried ham. Right off the bat, got that classic MCI spoon. And an accessory packet. With cigarettes, matches, chewing gum, toilet paper, coffee, instant, cream substitute, non-dairy creamer, sugar and salt. Oh hey, look at that. Peanut butter. You know, that's probably still good. Kern Foods Incorporated, Los Angeles, California. Cool. Got a B1A unit. This thing was packed November 1966. The MCI came 12 to a case. A case weighed 25 pounds. All right, so these cardboard spacers keeps everything from rattling around. Look at that. Some more pears. That's a decent looking can. A little teeny bit of corrosion. See how those are looking. And here's the main course fried ham, which here on the can it says, ham with water added, canned, sliced, and cooked. Oscar Meyer and Company, General Offices, Chicago, Illinois. Alright, to heat, it says submerge can in boiling water or place in food warmer or place open can over flame, avoid burning or overheating. Five and a half ounces of ham. And that's it. There it is, laid out. It's looking pretty good. All right, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice, okay, so let's first start off with checking out that accessory packet and get that coffee instant. Has a nice minty undertone to the smell. Look at that, Newports. Filter cigarettes, menthol, king size. Newport tastes smoother. Tax exempt for Use outside USA. It's the real deal. We'll set those to the side. Let's see what else we've got. Coffee Instant Type 2. Look at that. It's been a while since I've had Type 2. Cool. Salt. Creamer, which I'm not going to use that. It feels kind of chunked out. Oh, hey, look at that. Wrigley's Aromint. Awesome. Save that for after the smokes. Classic toilet paper, matches, and some sugar. I'm gonna pass on that too. So let's check out that coffee. Let's see how different this is from regular coffee instant. Yeah, look at that. Smells more bold too. It definitely has a stronger smell to it. Wow, it smells great. This old school toilet paper, I find it to be a little more user friendly than the modern USMRE toilet paper. It's easier to take the slices apart now granted it is like paper, but it is pretty strong. Not super absorbent either, but smells minty and it'll do the trick. So let's check out that B1A unit. Nice hiss. Look at those nice salted crackers. Wow, that has a real smell to it. It's um, kind of a mixed bag of a smell, I'll say that. Let's see what's in here. Oh boy, here we go. Chocolate fudge. Look at all those salt granules on that cracker. Let me just take a quick bite of that. Hmm. A little bit stale and salty. Very salty. Wow. Yeah, those were better than modern US MRE crackers. They had more flavor. Although it is a little bit stale. And um, this chocolate fudge. 
this is the culprit. I mean, it always, anytime these things have the fudge with it, the crackers get kind of weird. Varying degrees of weird. But this thing, I mean, it, they always look so good, you know? But like, uh, it actually tastes pretty good so far. Is it going to have an onset of um, something? We'll find out. Hmm. Uh, first bite was pretty... Wow. You know, a friend of mine has been looking for a good chocolate fudge bar for a long time. I wish he was here to be able to share this. I mean... Granted, it tastes weird. There's like a... The sorbitol. I don't know, it changes over time. That's like a 1 out of a 20 chance. Getting one of those and it's still edible. Hmm. Oh, that coffee's still way too hot. But I still like it. So this peanut butter. Okay, that chocolate fudge bar. What does it taste like? It tastes like some really cheap... Like, look at this. Okay. Before I go for that peanut butter, look at that weird, thick outer coating of chocolate. That's like the best part. Okay, it's kind of like th that same formula of chocolate coating is um on the... Uh, I don't know if they still produce them, the chocolate covered cookie, but um, that inner fudge has a cheap, overly sweet chocolate flavor and it's just, it just tastes very, very strange. Just very processed and anybody who used to eat these things, were, were they ever good? I, I don't know. That had a his. Nice. I can smell that peanut butter already. Look at that. You can always count on it. That smells rich of peanuts. And the oil on it, you know, the oil separation is normal. It's never easy to mix in. Well, not from any previous experiences, at least. This time, it's pretty much the same story. You're almost best off just pouring off the excess oil, because trying to mix it in, it's just so dense. I think the oil does act as a certain preservative. Why do these nuts not go rancid? It's beyond me. I guess because it's suspended in oil, sitting in a can. Boy, that's nutty and decent. I love this old peanut butter. You just can't go wrong with it. I've never had any old peanut butter that was not edible. Every time. Hmm. That tastes better than a lot of modern peanut butter. It tastes natural. I mean, not really sure how they do it. Kern Foods. They knew what they were doing when they were um, canning this stuff 50 years ago. Just can't go wrong with this. It's the kind of food you can say if you were wanting to stock up. You know peanut butter will last. And those B units, you know, as long as it's a B1 or B3 unit. Those B2s, if they had cheese spread, you're going to be out of luck. But the B2 units with cocoa beverage powder in them, those still hold up. The cocoa beverage powder from back then, I actually like it more than modern USMRE cocoa beverage powder. I just spilled a little peanut butter there. Let me get that. Let's wipe that down. I'm not going to be happy till that tray is clean. Yeah, so I got to get another bite of this. This is the most unusual part of this ration. This being still edible. Wow. This came out of a really well-stored case of MCI's. Seems to be a climate controlled kind of scenario. Yeah, I, I've never gone that far eating one of those. It's never good. You know, that's actually the first time I've had a chocolate fudge that wasn't completely strange. So, let's check this out. Mm. You know, that's actually not as thirst provoking as I expected it to be. I mean, it'll keep you occupied standing there eating it, but such a wholesome peanut butter flavor. And with these crackers, it's just a match made in heaven. You know, these salted crackers. It's savory, filling, perfect long shelf life food. Can't go wrong. With these MCIs, you always want to open up the stuff that's edible first and eat that. Then you go for the other stuff that, you know, you can't really trust. The peanut butter and crackers, this is no surprise to me anymore.
but this, you never come across these fudge bars and they're still edible. I mean, it has the smell. I mean, the sorbitol, it just gets weird. In about another five to 10 years, this will poison the crackers and make it smell like this. This is just gonna age into a weird, I can't come up with a better word than weird. I mean, it's just this absolutely unusual and pungent chemical smell and flavor. But like, this one, it's not over the top with it. You can still eat it. I remember the first time I've had one of these. It was a few years ago, and I just bit right in because it looked so good, you know? And um, it wasn't. And coated my throat with this rancid, sugary, fire type flavor. It doesn't matter how much water you drink, it'll... You can't get the that feeling out of your throat. Sorry for talking my mouthful again. Mm. But this, it's just so shiny and looks great. I mean, for looks, I give it a eight out of ten. Flavor, um, maybe a four. I wish I could taste one of those when it was still perfectly fresh. Mm, that's so much better. Yeah. It's perfect when you're hungry, that's for sure. coffee's still almost too hot. I can give a better reading on it now. Coffee instant type 2 is bolder than type 1. It really tastes like a spray dried French roast. So like, it has this um, ascorbic acid added to it. As bold as it is, it's not bitter. Very smooth. There's a reasonable amount of acidity to it. I gotta finish this thing, it's ridiculous. I, I don't know why, I, I just don't wanna waste it. Mm. I don't know. The sorbitol is a laxative. I mean, in conjunction with the rest of this, I mean, I guess the pears would help too, but this will really get things moving. Got a little bit of coffee left for that Newport. Actually, I'm gonna set this to the side. Let's give this a look. Actually, gotta finish up this peanut butter. Don't waste your food. Not bad, okay. So let's check out those pears. No hiss. Oh yeah, those look pretty good. They smell pretty good too. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, well, you know what? I'm not gonna try them out. Look at that. It has an interesting, swampy, metallic smell to it. You know those juices just sitting in that can for that long. No acidity. So it didn't eat through the can like, say, if you came across some pineapples, applesauce, or um, fruit cocktail. Yeah, this can here. This isn't exactly what I'd call glove-worthy. Nice hiss. I can smell that already. Oh man. Look at that. It's got some mold growing on it. Ugh. Not bad. It smells like some really weird old ham. Oh, look at those juices. 
Oh, jeez. Uh, there you go. Classic. But that's definitely got some stuff growing on it. Fascinating. That's a beaut. Yeah, all right. So these pears, how easy they cut in. They're pretty firm. Oh. Well, I'm not gonna eat that. Sorry, but I draw the line when pears turn brown. So, I don't know why I just wiped that down. It made no sense. So this here, you get three ham slices. I thought you'd be getting something that kind of looks like a country fried ham. I guess I was expecting a bit much there. But, oh, uh, yeah. Really has just a standard kind of spiraled ham look to it. Bon appetit. Uh, um, I have no idea why, but I just can't help myself. Oh, look at how that just breaks out into some serious meat. Oh. It's oh, the fats. Oh, the more I poke at it, the more the smell emanates from it. That would have been a nice filling, high protein main course, you know, back in the day. But now, it just makes me want to smoke a cigarette. Not bad. Well, that was a retching experience getting that off into the garbage can. Everybody missed that. Yeah, perfect time for some new ports. Those smell really incredible. Light mint, light tobacco. Smell to them. Check that out. too notable. That's the smoothest all the sea ration smokes I've had yet. It feels like air. It still has menthol in it. The Benson and Hedges menthols, the menthol kind of dissipated a little bit. It was very subtle. This has a prevalent menthol flavor. It's not too strong either. Still warm. Perfect combo. Newports aren't easy to find. Usually you get full flavored regular smokes like Winston's or Marlboro's. So finding these is a real treat. hitter. I thought it was um, maybe a little less strong than your average sea ration smoke. I think I was a little bit wrong there. It's burning fast, but it doesn't seem too dry. Throw the other three in a humidor. See how they fare. I'll be trading those pears for these if I, um, if I had the chance. Somebody would be happy. And I know I would be too.
The only con on this, it burns a little fast. But that's okay. I'm gonna still savor it. Definitely getting that good nicotine buzz. You feel it through your whole body, and if it's real strong, it'll make you sweat. These aren't getting you to that slightly unpleasant point, which is pretty nice. I would have to say this is one of the best. Definitely. I mean, if it burned a little slower, it would be the best. I'm not even a menthol fan. I'm enjoying this. 51-year-old Newports. Good to the last drag. Let's finish it off with the Wrigley's Aeromint. Wrigley Junior Company, Chicago, USA. Let's see how these have fared. Perfect. That's a very pleasant and sweet, all natural peppermint flavor. Quality gum. It's not a toothbreaker. A lot of gum that's 25 years newer didn't hold up this well. A properly stored MCI fried ham from 1966 with some awesome, slightly fast on the burn Newports and some perfectly edible other stuff like that fudge bar. Didn't expect that. What an experience. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989 off MRE Info. Hope you liked the video and thanks so much for watching. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool.